Hello and welcome back. This is your boy Kamal once again and today we're going to talk about this really cool integral that looks absolutely absurd at first glance. I mean seriously, look at this thing. We have the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the cosine x times cosine of sine x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Yeah, that really is something and I have evaluated this integral before using contour integration. Link in the description box for that video. But today we're going to adopt a different solution development, something that's a lot more efficient, yet still extremely cool. So here we go. How on earth do you even begin with an integrand that looks like this? Well, you have an exponential function multiplied by a trig function. So Euler's formula usually comes in clutch in times like these. So we know that e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i times sine theta. So if we replace theta here by sine x, then we get cosine of sine x being the real part of e to the i times sine x. So that implies that the target integral i equals the real part of the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the cosine x times e to the i times sine x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Okay, cool. So we have a couple of exponential terms being multiplied. So that means their exponents are going to add up. And we have the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the cosine x plus i times, terribly sorry about that, plus i times sine x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. And we know that cosine x plus i times sine x by Euler's formula should be e to the i x. So we have i here being the real part of the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the e to the i x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. And now what? Well, the exponential function has a really useful series expansion. So we know that e to the z can be expanded as the sum over k from 0 to infinity of z to the k divided by k factorial. So in our case, we just replace z by e to the i x and get e to the e to the i x equal to the sum over k from 0 to infinity of e to the i k x divided by k factorial. Okay, cool. So i here equals the real part of the integral, terribly sorry about that, the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x squared times the sum over k from 0 to infinity of e to the i k x divided by k factorial dx. And of course this function over here is independent of the index variable k, so we can take it inside the summation operator. And we have i here being the real part of the integral from 0 to infinity of the sum over k from 0 to infinity of e to the i k x divided by k factorial times 1 plus x squared dx. We switch up the order of the integration and summation operators to get the real part of the sum over k from 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the i k x divided by k factorial times 1 plus x squared dx. Okay, cool. Now notice that this k factorial term is independent of the x variable. So we pop this outside the integration operator and we have the real part, terribly sorry about that, the real part of the sum over k from 0 to infinity of 1 over k factorial times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the i k x divided by 1 plus k squared dx. Now just like the summation and the integration operators, this real part operator is also a linear transform. So we apply it to the e to the i k x terms and get cosine of k times x. So i here equals the sum over k from 0 to infinity of 1 by k factorial times the integral from 0 to infinity of cosine kx divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Now this integral here can be solved using Feynman's trick, you can solve it using contour integration or even using a Laplace transform approach.
I've linked all three videos in the description box and by the way for the Feynman's trick video there is a video where I evaluated this thing directly using Feynman's trick but that's not exactly one of my best videos it was from a time long forgotten and by time long forgotten I mean a couple years back it's one of my first videos here on YouTube well the first one of my first videos under the name Maths 505 anyway but the other video is where I evaluated it using Feynman's trick as part of the solution development for a different integral it was actually this integral here so that was I think sine square x divided by x squared times 1 plus x squared with the integral going from 0 to infinity so that itself is an insanely cool integral so you definitely want to check that out as well anyway what exactly was I talking about oh yeah this integral here the result of this integral is in fact pi divided by e to the k so yeah that is one gorgeous result indeed but not as gorgeous as the final result we're about to derive so this thing here equals the sum over k from 0 to infinity of 1 over k factorial times pi times e to the negative k okay cool that's quite nice or we could just write this thing as 1 over e to the k and the term pi here is just well pi it's a constant we'll write it outside the summation operator as a con as a constant multiple so we have the sum over k of what exactly we have e to the negative k which i had written as 1 by e to the k divided by k factorial now recall that e to the z equals the sum over k from 0 to infinity of z to the k divided by k factorial and that means our value of z in this case is 1 over e so we have i here equal to pi times e to the 1 by e and maybe you can even restate this to make it look even more over the top i mean like why not over the top math is pretty much what we do here so this could be expanded as pi times the eth root of e uh nah not loving it so what about uh pi to the e to the no no it's wait 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 it's e times pi to the e all to the one by e but yeah that that does kind of look unnecessary i'm just gonna leave it here this thing looks amazing in its own right this thing is awesome i really enjoyed the solution development i hope you enjoyed the video as well be sure to like and subscribe thank you see you next time